Welcome back to Ep6 of Castlevania Curse of Darkness, where we are going to be exploring Cordova Town. I want to say this is kind of the last place in the first half of the game. I mean, not that it has much story, but this is kind of like... Are we evolving straight away? Oh no, there's an egg. But yeah, after this one, we're kind of in the kind of... I don't know. It's sort of second half of the game. There's the egg. Is that a new... Wild well, I think we've got plenty of them. Just double check. Yeah. Right, there are loads of secrets in this place, much like the Forest of Jigamon. And I know the first one I want to find. Ooh. The first one I want to find is the chair room. And I think in the very first playthrough I did of this game, I just never found the chair room. So I had no idea what all of those chairs were for. Like, ever. Alright, I think this bird is pretty close to evolving. I'm going to switch back to the battle ID once it does. If not fairy. There we go, there's the evolution. I believe that should be the Wingosaurus. Beautiful. Right, I need to look up how to evolve this one now. Okay, it's Sword Axe or Special, so I'm going to stick with the Fast Sword. I'm only going to level it until it gets long wide, and then I'm just going to switch back to battle. Because that's all I was really after. There's a lot of twists and turns in this place. I don't think we're actually going to get the full map the first time around, unless we really try. Yeah, I'm going to go... Uh, can we go right? No, we can't go right yet, so... Under that door will be the place for the Devil ID, which we'll need to get through there, so we can't do that yet. Is this a fencing sword? It's not, is it? Nah, normal sword. I was thinking it was really quick, but I've just been used to using the axe. Which is stupidly slow. Two ways again. Alright, let's go this way, because I want to kind of reconcile the map. I've got so many different ways now, like... Can we get through anywhere up that way? That's another new way. Right, what I really want to find is the chair room, which I think is this way, so I'm going to continue on this way. I'm not going to bother too much with the zombies, because... Long glide, there we go. Right, so now let's swap back to Battle ID. Yeah, you can see the difference in the levels already. This guy, I think I am on fisty curves. There we go, that was quick. <laughs> Brute Force level 2. That's what we need in the... Oh, Evolving Grady. Oh, no, it's another egg. Right, I do want to get this, because we do need a few Battle-type IDs. Because I want to get a Yeti for the room in uh, Forest of Jigamon. I also want to get a Corpsey for... I think that's just the best one in combat in general. Right, these guys drop something, I'm sure. It's... Uh, it might be a new type of steel. Alright, there's a steel. That's nothing interesting. But... Right, what's that? White steel. Let's get a second one of them, because... Yep, lovely. I think most of the armors are two of the new material. But I want to make the weapons first. Narcodaster and white steel. That will go up beautiful. It's the first upgrade. Got swords. Foil and white steel. It's a short sword. And a... That's going to be a heavy sword. I want to make the quick one first. I just so love the crafting in this game. Like, I don't know why this does it. Oh, that was the heavy one. Oh, whoops. But I don't know why this does it like so well. Because it's like blatantly simple. But I don't think any other game does it as well as this. Like, I mean, crafting's a big part in almost every game, but I'm half late for them. So, can we chain up? No, Brigandine, which is Eastern Armor, which is Lamalar, which we can make. Getting through these Spirit of Fugis. Is it Brigandine? Yep. Getting through the Knight's Veins as well. I need more. 
think I just need white steel. Yep. Alright, we should get plenty more of that here though. Do we have... I'm sure the chair room is somewhere this way. I don't think it's the one behind where you need the devil ID. I don't think. I would guess it's this one to the right, actually. There's just so many different ways in this place. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I want that chair room. Right, these guys have got a good steal. <laughs> I need more tries. Right, let's put him on guard. I might have to de-summon him, actually. Yeah, I will do. Holy man's vein, right. That I can't remember if that's a new thing or not. I don't think it is, because I think we've got loads of those in um, Garibaldi Temple. Okay, I'm not as good at using these as I remember. Too used to using heavy stuff. Right, you wait there. Beautiful, easy. Just keeps whacking him up in the air, I can't actually get any hits in. There we go, got him in the end. Wait there. Do something. There we go. There we go. I don't think we actually really need any of these, but just for the sake of it. Am I doing this barehanded? Oh my god, I am. Forgot to equip the glove. There we go, might do a bit more damage now. Yeah. It's too easy now. Too good at it. map looking like. A total mess, that's what it's looking like. I think the chair room's actually over here. Um, Alright, I'm going to keep going. I can't be bothered to do any more of those. I've got enough <laughs> materials now. Let's loop into the left. I'm up here now. Pretty sure these have got the same steel. Holy man's waiting, yep. Got it for completion this side though. Um, like, do I want to go in here? I mean, that's probably progressing the correct way now, but I want to loop back and do this map. Unless this is just a bonus room. Oh, I locked in. Locked in that way as well, yep. Lizardman? Alright, I've got a sneaky suspicion these guys have got a good steal as well, and I think it might be the ether. Because I think this is when. No, never mind. <laughs> Chatting rubbish. Hopefully these guys drop some more white steel though, that's what we want. Oh, I forgot that move. Pretty sure it's actually the... It's either the cockatrices or basilisks that drop that ether. Beautiful. Was that save room? I think it was. Yeah, nice. Alright, I think I'm actually going the correct way now, so I think I'm gonna double back and fill in this map. Here we go, now we get some secrets. So, I think this should be the map. Yep. Right, let's have a look at where we can go. So, alright, let's go back and... No, actually, we will go this way. I think maybe this is where the cherim is then. I thought it was to the right, and I would have... Bet quite a lot of money on that, but oh, hello. These guys again.
so this is going to end up. So the chair room must be here. I'm sure you didn't need the devil. Is this it? Or is that just the warp room? Right, let's go in here first. I think around this corner might be the chair room. I don't know why I'm so excited about this place, because, like, I do remember it quite well as a kid. Just a random room, just full of all the chairs you've sat on in the game. It's such a weird collectible. This is it. Right, let's have a look. So here it is, just for reference, after the warp room, on the left-hand side. I don't know what this room is, must just be a secret, but let's see it. I don't think we've missed any chairs so far. I can't think of any. Because we've certainly done all the map that we can do. Yeah, this is so weird. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't even remember that one. Oh, we haven't unlocked the chair for that one yet. Oh, God, this is weird. <laughs> like, I'm sure I missed this place in my first playthrough as a kid as well. Oh, these are what the target's for. Yeah. But this is so weird. Oh, I'm never going to be out here. Oh, there we go. Got one. But I don't know if that's something you have to complete as well. But there's the electric chair here. Yeah. And I think, I don't really think you get any items for doing this, completion this part of the game, but you get like an ultimate chair at the end of it that goes in the middle. Yeah, there's a warp room. Rat chair, I can't even remember where that's from. That's from Burning Castle. There's a rocking chair from Julia's shop. And I think in my first playthrough, that was the last one I did, because I just had no idea it was there. But what a bizarre thing in a game. <laughs> like, just so weird, but there we go. That's what the completion this is. Completionism is for just getting all those chairs in the game. Right, let's actually get back to doing something Castlevania-y and not just fucking weird. more ghouls. I'm tempted if we don't get that many just to sort of hang around this area and get loads. Right, there's some more white steel. What new can we make? New sword? New foil? This would be a new fencing sword, I presume. Crappier. Nice. Oh, we just need loads more, to be honest. I probably should have made the armor first, but we'll make that next. Worked out that it's it's the fact that these guys aren't like knocked back by your attacks like zombies are that makes them quite a bit harder. Um, right, let's go with this one first. It's probably going to be better for plate mail. We will take that. Inevitably going to be better. Yep, <laughs> by one. All right, I think that's now the rest of the map filled in. Beautiful, except for that little bit down there which we need the devil for. But now we can. Continue. Let's go up. Right, here we go. Back on track now with the main map. Right, I do kind of want to kill, like, obviously don't need to beat these guys, but I think I'm quite close to evolving this guy to the final form. Well, these guys drop white steel as well. Okay, yeah. We, we will kill more of them. Right, let's do this other armor. Burned him out. I think that's is that exactly the same. That was sun tears. I keep checking that one, wondering what it was. Even more white still. Let's check this one. That's no, too worse, so we'll stick with this for now. I mean, I want to make everything anyway. I don't know how rare items get towards the end of the game. I know this. I mean, there's probably stuff like at the very bottom of the Tower of Evermore. Right, so we have a rock room. I swear this idea is actually making me worse in combat, because he's knocking stuff away from me. Stopping me from being able to hit it. Oh dear, there's the poison. Let's get 
rid of that. It's annoying me. Do need to go back by the shop and buy some more of that at some point. I'll find some basilisks. We'll do these guys definitely for white steel. Beautiful. Knocked it back into the sick. That's helpful. Beautiful. Right, what else can we make? I want to make everything. It's going to be blood over, which is going to be Gano, which is going to be short sword. Yep. This is why you need a lot of bronze. It's probably not even going to be worth it. Tabar. That's probably the hardest hitting new axe we've got. I uh, need an ether for that. Are there any other spears? No. New helmet though. Lobs the tail pod. That looks fucking disastrous. It's probably going to be better though. Yeah, two better. We'll take that. I think that's probably about all we can make now with the white steel. Just in case we will keep killing it. That basilisk. Right, that's okay. No, it's these guys that are the guys that drop ethers. I am sure of it. Target him now. All right, let's put him on defend. Try not to kill him. Let's just take out some of these. It's when he does his kind of fire breath with the staff. I'm sure of it. It's not that. Right, let's get him out of here. Let's get the fairy around a bit for this. Let's switch back the swords. We'll definitely go with the rapier. I need to get rid of some of these guys. There's one. Right, it's that. Oh, I wasn't locked on! <laughs> Fuck! Ether, yes, come on. Right, what can we make? Definitely a spear. I think that's probably it for now. Though. Trident, we will take that. And I think the armor is the Sun Tears one, isn't it? Oh, there's another one, though. Barbarian armor and bamboo sword. How do we make that? Yep, we'll do that. I think this is going to be a meme armor, but I'm going to make it anyway. Kendo suit, yeah. <laughs> Very low defense on that. Alright, cool. I'm happy with that, but I want more... Ether, definitely. Oh I hate that. Just go past that one. Oh dear, oh dear. Didn't know they did that. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to stick with the fairy for a little while, just because... They level up very quickly when you don't use them for a while, and you get to regions with no enemies. What are we gonna get? Right, these armored zombies, assassin zombies. Assassin zombies. Right, I don't think they're gonna have any new items yet though. Although I still haven't worked out what their steel is. I'm sure you. I'm sure it is that jump, and you have to, like, yeah, it is, I just saw it. It's going to be so hard, I'm going to kill one of them, try and get it. Right, now let's try and do this. So it must, there's another one there. Right, <laughs> try and do it with this one. These guys are literally summon out of a nightmare. They're so bizarre. We must have to go away from them. They're even more terrifying up close, Jesus. Because he must because you lose the lock on here, you must have to get it back. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh god. Didn't even lock on. I don't even know if it's any like good this steel. 
I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh god. Oh, it's in the air as well. How are you meant to do that? You're gonna have to like jump and lock on at the same time. This is ridiculous. I'll have a couple more goes at this. I don't want to spend like half an hour on it. Ah, that must have been the closest. I'm getting there. I'm not going to give up now. <laughs> I want to do this. Even if it's like 50 gold. I got it and it's 200 gold. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> One of the hardest ones in the game. Oh, I'm not even going to bother killing the rest of them now. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I might have to. I think I'm locked in. No, I'm not. I'm all good. <laughs> What a waste of time. Well, I'm sure I remember doing that before, so it must be like an upgraded variant of those guys that drop something good. I can't even bother to kill them. Hopefully there's something that spawns here that I do have to kill. Oh god. I've forgotten what it's like to attack. It's good to have a fast weapon though. Oh god. Oh dear. Lovely. Loads of indigo still. I think we've got loads of that already. Yeah. So I'm not too bothered about that. Right. Shamans. Ether, please, thank you. <laughs> I mean, the much harder steel, or much easier steel, is the much better item. And poison powder, interesting. I think this is a fairly useless, like, fairy type. Because I've upgraded it to get the... Lovely, two ethers. I've upgraded it in the way that gets the secret room in the Aloan Ruins, which is just... It's a completely pointless devil type, but... Right, I think I'm locked in now, but I want to go back up there, really. I'm just going to stop and get more ether. <laughs> Do something. It's very hard to keep an eye on one of them when you've got two attacking. Ooh, interesting. Lovely. There's a third ether. Comes out of fourth. Just take this guy out first. <laughs> if I can. Ouch. Oh, I've got another one now. No, I'm not going to bother with that. Lovely. I'm just going to get loads. Come on then. Maybe it's a medium distance kind of thing. Oh, there it is. Oh. There we go. Right, I think I've probably got enough now. I can't even remember what they used to make, to be honest. Uh, do I want to go... Yes, I do. I want to go back and get that room, because it looks like a bonus one ahead. Locked in again. So I'm going to have to kill these guys regardless. Beautiful. Oh, dear. Ooh. Ah. That was actually quite an appreciated move from the fairy. Actually stopped him from biting. Right, I think this way up here is actually the way into the Ellen Ruins. We can't go in yet, because I'm pretty sure you need the Devil Type ID. Is that an evolution or an egg? Oh, that's an egg. 
Good. We do want some more fairies. We want actually a proper one from when we do the kind of end game stuff. I'll pick it up. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. This is Avon Ruins. Yep, 100%. Right, I can't actually be bothered to get the steals from these guys anymore because we've got plenty already. I might do for the last one. Ow. As much as I rate the speed of... Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Got it anyway. As much as I rate the speed of the quick stuff, like the swords, the range is not good. Right. I... This guy has got an interesting steal of some sort. I can't remember what it is, but I know how to get it. You have to knock him off the thing first. You've got to attack. Yeah. I remember. I don't know what the steal is, but I know it's good. Let's get this guy out of the way. Okay, cool. Right, you have to attack... Yeah, you have to attack the rider first. Okay. Dragon scale, right. No idea what that's for, but <laughs> I know it's quite good. Ooh, lovely. Well done, fairy. This is just annoying now. <laughs> now... Still didn't reach. There we go. Right, what can we do with the Dragon Scale? Anything? New sword. Number six. Right, that is something big. I want to look at what the armor is. is or is that anything? No. Right, let's make this sword then. Because I, this is, I know this is one of the ingredients for the laser blade. Chris Naga. I think I don't think it's a particularly good weapon on its own. I think it is just an ingredient for the laser blade. But we will take that. Absolutely. I'm not going to bother with these guys. Got enough ether already. How far am I deviating now? Quite a long way. So that is... I'm pretty sure that is the boss there. Or there. Unless the other way was the Olam Prince. I still love mixing up the combos. Beautiful. I mean, there's probably only a couple, like, there's probably definitely one, like, finisher move that is the highest, like, damage per second out of all of them. But it's just so much fun to mix it up and just do random stuff with the, all the different weapons. So, I mean, that's another just kind of very basic, simple combat strategy. You've got your different types of weapons, and you've got your different finishing moves. Oh, hello. Haven't seen these guys in a while. You do it. Ether, please. Thank you. The guard will take that. I didn't think these guys had particularly good stuff. Now, I was so set up for good attacks though. I think I've got his already. Now. Wait, right, is that. Oh, that's a chair in the background. Barely noticed that. Let's grab this one. <laughs> Make me like one of your Castlevania girls. <laughs> that might be the thumbnail. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Right, where are we? B1F. Uh, I've got no idea where we are now. This, 100%, this is some sort of secret. I'm sure this isn't the right way. Oh god, these pricks again. Oh god, has he taken something? I'm you know, half tempted just to run away here because these guys are assholes. They just never run out. Or... <laughs> I swear they just keep spawning. Oh, I can't be bothered. Let's crack on. I don't know what's down there. Treasure. We'll take that. 
It's a ring. Wind ring. Travel. <laughs> Why not? We've got the moment boarding. Yeah. Right, I'm sure this sixth sense brooch doesn't help at all, so let's protect against fire. Let's see what's down here. More V Aqueduct, right. <laughs> Again, I had no idea this connection was here. <laughs> Lovely. No idea it was there, but we will definitely take that. I want to <laughs> go back and fill in the rest of this map now. <laughs> wow, the map. I must have missed this the first time around, but fair enough. What else are we missing on here? I know that bit. Yeah, that's... Is that... Oh, I just need to go downstairs, that bit, I think. And... We haven't got anything on 2F or ever. Yeah, it's down there. Looks like we've got all of that. I mean, fuck it. What are we doing? We're in Cordova Town. What are we doing here? Right, we're back. I'm going to swap back over to the battle ID because we're pretty close to evolving this guy now. I think he turns into a liquid golem, something like that, which I think is the guy I had in my very first playthrough. Everyone since I've gone straight to Corpsey because he's just the best. So this will be interesting when we get to see him again. Thank you. I'm not even going to bother killing him. I'm just going to take his stuff and run. I haven't talked about this theme yet, so I'll be honest, this is probably one of my least favourite themes in the whole game. I don't know why, it just seems kind of... meh. Like, it's nice and it's kind of guitar-y and kind of it does suit the vibe. It does that kind of... Right, I just want to get the steel again to be honest. Like, it does have the good vibe of kind of abandoned, like, zombie field town. I can't get it, then. So much fire. There we go. There we go. We move on. Two dragon scales. Oh. Yeah, it does suit the vibe of like very much abandoned town, but other than that, it's just kind of... Eh. Can't be bothered with any of these guys. Yeah, so times like this where Hector's running speed is annoying. Like, it doesn't bother me too much, because I think that was the main criticism with the game when it came out. Hector doesn't run very fast, but... It seems fine. It's only in places where you're just like running from one end of the map to the other that it's annoying. Right, just bang one of these guys. I think that'll do. Do it. Uh, I'm probably not going to evolve him before the boss fight. No. Let's just crack on. I don't think we've got much left to go. Yeah, there. I mean, the entrance to the Aloy Marines is somewhere. I think it's probably this room. Is it? No, it's not that way. Alright, I want to get these steals again. Because <laughs> I just do. Right, there's one of them. Yes, lovely. <laughs> Got it before he started running, which is probably very good. Alright, let's take care of this dick before we try and get the other one. Lovely. Alright, you stay there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Lovely. Oh, there's more. Oh, I can't be asked anymore. I'll do it for the last one. Lovely. Right, take him out quick. Yes, nicely done. We going out? Yep, okay. Yeah, it's the boss round here somewhere, I think. And I know what it is, but I don't want to give it away just yet. It's not your classic Castlevania boss. A classic Castlevania boss is just some sort of, like, zombie or... Just some sort of creature of the night. In some way or other. I don't know how many dragon scales we actually need in total for making everything, but we've got quite a few. 
these guys. Is this not the way that the boss is? <laughs> Where did we go wrong? Because this is Aloy Ruin's entrance, I'm sure. Evolution. Damn, Liquid Guy. Yeah, I remember this guy so well. He looks like the boss in the second bit of Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, where um, Crunch is the water guy. Oh, I remember it so well. That is like, that is something I have not seen or thought about in a long time. Alright, there's another Aether, and that is Aelon Ruins that way, but we can't get there yet. Okay, we can just keep going this way to get to the boss. Lovely. We have gone the right way after all. So I want to just keep fighting with this guy until we... Is that safe from fighting? I do. And actually, no, I'm going to go straight back to Junior's shop and replace this guy with something else that we can level up. Because I want to make the Yeti. So back to Junior's shop and let's sort out some eggs. There we go, new Magmoth. Oh, I'm going to need another name now. Yeah, that do. <laughs> so much thought went into that. Um, just going to do all of these now. Flanders and Homer, back to back. Interesting. Godfrey. That is a bird name if I ever saw one. And we've got one fairy. Oh, it's got nice. Coco. Yes, that will do. That is a fairy name. Right, so I have now got a brand new battle type ID. So this is just purely for the purposes of getting the Yeti. So that's just, literally just for doing that room in Forest of Jigman. I'm only going to buy, I'm only going to go for the Corpsey after we've got all the unlockables. So let's buy a few more of these while we're here. I'm going to bank on the fact that I don't need any potions at all. Well, that's going to be a waste of money. Nah, let's get some potions. Will that be all? Anything else? Will that be all? Please come again. Okay, that'll do for now. I have to look at the charts for this guy again. Do I not have, like... There must be a thing for charts somewhere. Development? No. Ah, there it is. Right, okay. So I need to go to the right, so I need sword for this one, but I'm not going to bother evolving him yet because we've got a boss fight coming up. So I think for that I'm just going to swap to the fairy. I think that's probably the best one. I'll keep the bird open first, and then we'll swap to the fairy afterwards. So, I can't remember where it is now, quite over centre I think. So you can use a warp room basically as a save room. Just go back to Julia's shop, use the save room there. Let's continue on this way. Got more than enough drops and steals from these guys already. I'm going to kill a couple actually, just to level up thingy a little bit. <laughs> that is the most stupid. Whoa, he took a lot of damage. <laughs> He's going to die so quick if I don't level him up like straight away. How much health are these guys? I'm unarmed, aren't I? I am fully unarmed. No, I've got a glove. Right, let's just kill him, get some levels on the devil. There we go, that'll do it. Right, let's go to bird. <laughs> he went to level 8 just from that. Okay. I think my best weapon here is probably going to be a sword of some sort. I mean, I'm tempted to fight fire with fire and use a spear, because I've not used one at all yet. Is it just around here? Oh, there is a safe one. <laughs> Never mind. Shouldn't have bothered. Right, we'll save just in case we screw this up. Because I want the steal from this one. Because I think this is possibly one of the most essential steals in the whole game. Because I think you need the steal to make the Chalosaurus, which is the best spear. Which you need to evolve the Devil ID. And there is only one evolution path for the Devil ID, and you need the spear for it. So if you miss it, you're going to have to wait until after the game. Boss rush mode. Here we go. So, 
there have been no cutscenes in this place as of yet. So usually there's a cutscene when you enter a place for the first time, but we are going to get one now. It's Isaac. So, you've caught up already. Isaac. It's still too soon, but all the same. I'll test your abilities and see how much of your power has been restored. Oh dear. Right. Right, that's the steal. Yeah, that was it. That was it. <laughs> I should have got that. Oh, he's got a lot of health. I mean... This is going to be... Oh, God. This is going to be difficult even not trying not to get the steal. Jesus. And he uses the devil in this fight. I can't remember if he... Actually, I won't give that away just yet. Oh, big hit. Oh, God. I'm not sure if you can actually kill the devil in this fight. Oh, God. The bird's nearly out. Fuck. Nice timing. Yes, nice. So all of these moves he's using, you can use yourself once you have the right upgrades. I'm pretty sure. Right, the bird's gonna die in a sec. Bird's gone. Right, let's go back to theory. I mean, the. <laughs> Why did I swap that? That's such a stupid idea. I really could have used him in this fight. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what that move is. He's just kind of... It's one of those kind of Japanese RPG... He's kind of showing off and wasting a turn. Oh dear. Right, I still haven't got the steel. We need it. That's not it. That, I thought that was it. I'm pretty sure you have to be quite far away from him for him to use it. Oh dear, I should have seen that coming. Ouch. No way, I love that sound thing. Alright, come on, show me it. I should have done it at the start of the fight, I don't know why I didn't. Use it now, come on. That was it. <laughs> you kind of have to dodge it, I think, as well. Right, let's stay at a distance. And try and force him to use it again. I couldn't see him! Devil's in the way! Oh, God. <laughs> this is tricky. Ah, devil got me. What one's that? That one. Right. right, I'm just going for the steel now. I'm not going to... I couldn't see him. Fine this time. Yes, there we go. Devil's Vein. Now I can finish him. We're winning this fight. Oh god. <laughs> I can't see anything. Right, Abel's taking. Abel's the name of his devil, I think. It's just taking one damage every hit, so I don't think he's killable in this fight. Oh dear. Oh god. Yes, lovely timing. Lovely again. Doing well now. I think I've cracked him. Or maybe not. <laughs> Straight away. Yep, we'll take that. Ouch. not use the spear at all I want to now I mean I'm <laughs> no I'm not going to check my crafting yet because we might be able to make the Charthosaurus quite quickly might have him here no not quite go on this is it there we go we got him
Plenty of levels for the fairy as well. Go on, cutscene me up. Gratifying. Your power is indeed returning, but it's still not enough. Brother, stop! Julia, return, Abel. It's like a Pokemon. Brother, what an annoying interruption. Well, so be it. It's still too early to finish you anyway. Regain more of your power first. You'll need it all if you hope to kill me. You are not getting away! No! Let him go! So, I was taken in. You were in league with Isaac all along! Think what you like, but I do wish for you to stop him honestly. Then why did you keep me from him? Because it is too soon! You still lack the strength and spirit to defeat him! I know that my strength is still growing. But what do you mean by my spirit? You must understand this. My brother is in the venomous grip of Lord Dracula's curse. The desires of a single man mean nothing. The curse rules him. Then go with Belmont or one of his vampire slayers. Someone you can be sure of. No, Hector. You must be the one to defeat him. My brother has always respected you. Only you can free him from the curse. And also, if you are the one to slay him, only then could I live with him. I understand. Of course, he is your brother. Forgive me, I was vexed. I did not mean to offend. I will take my leave of you now. And I will do what I can. Be vigilant, Hector. I have an ill feeling. It bodes not well. And there we go. I forgot this game had a semi-decent story, to be honest, but it's revealed that Julia is Isaac's brother, for one. Uh, for the second... Uh, actually, let's just see if we can... No, we can't make the Chalsaurus yet. Worth a check anyway. But, yeah, we get our first fight with Isaac. We've caught up to him, and we don't beat him, unfortunately. We do fight him again later on. Let's go and get this... ID. I know exactly what it's going to be. And it is the magic type. I think it might be mage type, actually. And with this, we can go back and do a third bit. I think. Ah, it looks so cool upscaled. <laughs> that looks sick. Right, I know exactly what I want to call this guy because I've had this name many times in previous playthroughs. Auto Heal was quite good, man. It's not going to be that. It is one of the presets, I'm sure of it. Mm, ah, fuck it, we'll type it in. Ah. He is the one and only. Is that a letter here? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is the... God's sake! Just let me do my monologue. It is the one and only Gordon. Oh, God. <laughs> Not Gords, that is the least cool name in the world. Right, let's do it. So, this guy basically, what you can do is time stop. Costs a lot of MP, but it freezes all enemies in place basically. So, not a particularly powerful idea on its own yet, but time stop makes Hector a lot more powerful. So, I think that is it for this episode, and that is pretty much the first half of the game done. So, in the next episode, we will move on to a place I can't remember the name of. Enemaeus Machine Tower, that's the one. So leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys then. Peace.